You are now watching one of the most important videos about unconditional love. Understanding yourself first and then allowing yourself to be what it wants to be is what it means to love yourself. Unconditional love is just down the street on your happy boulevard. How do I hold it in this place that it feels right now? Mm, yes. Well, let's examine what the components are. It's new and fresh, yes. which means so far you're only looking for and finding positive aspects. Yes. So what's what you've been putting in your vortex for a long period of time, this relationship, as you focus upon it is causing you to match. So that feeling of being in love is the feeling of alignment with all that you've created through all of the relationships that you've been living, you see. Mm -hmm. So how do you hold yourself in vibrational alignment with that when it is likely that something may come up that isn't a vibrational match to everything that you've put there because you didn't ask the universe to bring you a person who would not allow any expansion in a relationship you didn't say universe bring me someone who is perfect who will never change and who will never ask change from me you you're asking for someone that you can eternally be joyful with which means you're asking for someone who is willing to step out of the vortex and in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and in you're asking for someone who has the capacity to expand and the willingness to align with the expansion so you have all of the tools you know what to do in other words the way you keep this relationship feeling as wonderful as it does today is by taking complete responsibility for the way you feel at all times by owning your emotions and by understanding that it is your work to tune yourself to the best feeling what deliberate creating is is understanding that if something happens that doesn't feel so good it is your job to focus in focus yourself back into feeling good without needing that flaw to be resolved hold on to your seats because you may not like this but this is the secret to a wonderful relationship I have the ability to focus myself into loving you no matter what wow. because I have been living in a diverse world for quite a while and I've discovered that I cannot seclude myself from unwanted from my point of view things there are so many people who want things that I don't want and I don't have the right to take from them the things that they want just because I don't want them I've learned that this diverse world is the right kind of world and that I just focus myself within it for the attraction of what comes to me so lover of mine you say I will extract from you by the basis of my point of attraction not by the basis of your point of offering I am attracting from you and I take full responsibility for what I attract you say in this business of deliberate creation we we want you and Esther we want all of you to understand that there is not a problem with discussing the problem in other words talking about it is going to amplify what you don't want but it is also producing more of what you do want but when you're wise like you are when you know about emotions when you're wise like Esther is then just don't get carried away with poking around at the problem and the point that we're making here is be solution oriented that's just that's the other day Jerry was telling a story that he has told for years and at the end of it at the and Esther has enjoyed it every time he tells it because it just gets better and better as he as he applies it to whatever is currently being lived and and at, and he ended by saying and the moral of the story is the moral of the story is and when they settled in on the moral of the story they both felt felt such satisfaction at aligning with the conclusion that this story had had caused them to focus upon so if you think about the moral of the story in other words what is it that you're ultimately reaching for loving this person forevermore what is 
is it that you're ultimately reaching for? Finding the best in one another every day. What is it that you're ultimately reaching for? Joyful, co-creative, expanding experience, you see. So as long, we just want the moral of the story to be so forward, foremost in your mind that you don't get carried away because there's nothing wrong with having a conversation as long as you're solution oriented, you see. How can I keep our relationship feeling this way? How can I just keep feeling alive and excited and happy about it? The answer is give the relationship your undivided attention when you are sure you're in the vortex. And when you are not in the vortex, don't spend too much time trying to sort it out. Okay, wow. Most people get nose to nose outside the vortex. And they practice the outside the vortex, and then they stumble into the vortex every now and again and, and have a one and make up. But what about a relationship where you are you you are your your relationship vows go like this? I am so glad to be together with you. And I'm also so glad to be together with the source within me in my vortex. And I love it most when we're all in there together. And it is my dominant intention to give my full attention to you from inside my vortex. So if you ever find me distant, it's not because I'm not wanting what's possible. It's that I'm not vibrationally ready for it in that moment. But don't despair. I'll be right back. If you want someone to love you and flow their love to you, and we know how good that feels. And we can understand why, if they're not doing that now, that that wouldn't feel as good as it felt when they were doing it. But if you can remember that the reason that you feel the way you feel is for one reason only, it's because of what you're broadcasting. What you are broadcasting or radiating or spewing has a relationship with what your inner being is doing at the same time about the same thing. So when it matters to you that you are loved, you can't control that because people have different ideas about what they want. You heard our friend say she cut him loose as she chose what felt better to her. If in order to feel good, you need them to be spewing that to you, you're always going to be in trouble over something because you are not the object of attention to which everyone else is serving, you see. But when you realize that the way you feel is about what you're flowing. And so what you're really saying to us is, I miss this person who was an object of attention who I could really flow a lot of love to. I miss having that object to flow love toward. So you're going to have to get creative. You're going to have to remember good times, but maybe that hurts too much. Or you're going to have to get busy doing other things, focus on other things that aren't about that subject. Or you're going to have to step back a little bit and think about so much that you still do love. Get in the appreciation mode about different things. And it's our promise to you. You see, you can't have a lover leave you in any way without putting big time in your vortex, the return of that somehow, some way. But you can't get into the receptive mode to let it in if you're still feeling the loss of the lover. The loss of the lover caused you to create another. But you can't find that person if you're not in the receptive mode. And you can't be in the receptive mode if you're still feeling the loss of your lover sort of a vicious circle isn't it we know who you are and we know where you're going and we know it can be fun but you've got to put yourself in the place where you can feel the fun and feel the ease and feel the joy in order to receive the good ideas and experience the good timing to have but you see even though we know you really want this lover even if we knew where this person was we would not take the other by the hand and you by the hand and bring you together not right now because first of all we are not the creator of your reality and even though we know that isn't it nice if you have enough experiences to get you really solid in that receptive mode because if you're sometimes spewing inky mist you're gonna meet somebody that's not gonna pan out and if you're never spewing the inky mist when you meet it's gonna be really really good feel the difference it's nice that you have so many other wonderful things to think about and we were projecting something that almost caused Esther to say be patient but it isn't about patience 
when someone thanks Esther for her patience she says you have me mixed up with somebody else because you all want what you want when you want it but if you can remember the reason why you want it is for something that you can already accomplish here's an example and we're continuing here because it's satisfying so many things around the room and because you're so close for this to really click into place for you so feel for just a moment the idea of having quickly or now having one or two or three hundred thousand dollars at your fingertips to spend in any way you want and feel how nice that would be and then feel the difference between the universe yielding to you instantaneously a way for that to happen in terms of probability and the ability to imagine prosperity do you think it would be easier for you to imagine prosperity or to by the end of the day have three hundred thousand dollars in your hand that was an interesting exercise because a lot of you said just give me the damn money Abraham and stop <laughs> messing with me but what we're getting at given the belief systems that most of you have the idea of getting the money and getting it today is far less likely to you than the imagining of it and yet you say but Abraham the imagining of it would be far less satisfying than the having of it well we'll give you that from where you're standing but we want the imagining of it which you can do today to be enough so that you do do it today and since you can do it today if the imagining of it will be enough for you that you let it soothe you thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and share it with someone who could use some motivation God bless you all, and we wish you a pleasant day.